we have a Carabao Cup quarterfinal matchup. Oh yeah, and Youth Intake Preview Day. And it's changed a little bit. Let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Well, my dudes, we're back. Uh, we're not ready to play any matches yet, but we got an email talking about Youth Intake Preview Day, and it's a little bit different, so I thought we would show it off, and I actually really like it. It uh, looks pretty cool. It kind of helps out a little bit more, so here you go. We have a two-and-a-half-star intake. It's an average intake for us, uh, and it's it's kind of rated the positions that we have, so you can see our wingbacks. We have a wingback who is highly rated, giving us an A overall there. We've got one center back that looks promising, a C over there. We've got... Uh, a couple goalkeepers coming in, but they're not rated too good. Same with central midfielders and wide midfielders as well. And then if you look over here, I like this right here. This is pretty cool. So, so it shows we have two goalkeeps coming in, two right backs coming in, three center backs, uh, one left back. I'm assuming this is the same guy. Uh, one right midfield, one mid, two center mids, uh, one left midfield, two left wings, one right wing, no strikers, and no number 10s. So that is, that's pretty neat. That is pretty cool. I do like that a lot. It's changed up a little bit. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a preview than what you're used to, or it kind of kind of shows what to expect before it comes in, which I do like. I might have to start including these in videos from now on. Well, we've had a tough go at it. We're still struggling a little bit, but I do think things are starting to pick up a little bit. You got to look at the teams we've played. We've played some really good teams since we last left off. We lose to West Ham 1-2. Uh, Luca gets sent off in the 30th minute. Edward gets hurt. Yeah, so honestly, 2-1, I'll take that result with what uh, we was dealt in that match. It, it was not, not very easy, was it? Man United, we draw against them somehow, 1-1. Anderson gets a little banged up in this one. Matete gets a goal to tie it up for us in the 59th minute. Uh, we led until the 80th minute. Alex Tellez gets a goal. And it's 1-1 at that point. So a little bit disappointing that we couldn't hang on to get the victory. But we do come back against Tottenham and win this match. Elise gets a goal. Gallagher gets his first goal this season. So happy with that result. Men didn't know, then we went and played Liverpool after that. Chambers gets sent off. Zaha gets hurt. Eze gets his first goal of the season. So we lose that match 2-1. And uh, as I said, we played some tough teams. Liverpool sitting second. Man United sitting first. West Ham sitting fourth. Tottenham sitting sixth. So honestly, I think we take the results up today, though. We're going up against Man United in the Carabao Cup. And then after that, we're going up against Norwich, who's sitting bottom of the table. So, hey, maybe we actually get a win on camera today. That would be very nice, wouldn't it? I think we're ready, though. I think we're ready. Before we get into it, though, let's look at the medical stuff that we've got. Martin Kelly, he's out for th three to six weeks. Zaha, he's out for a week to two weeks. And Edward should be coming back and hopefully ready for the second match. Matete's done good in his absence and has earned himself a little bit of playing time. We've done a little bit more different stuff. We're, we're pressing a little bit more, you know. And it seems to have worked out for the most part, I believe. I'm not 100% sold still. We've got some stuff to do. The transfer window is going to be opening up pretty soon. But we don't have no money. We do have some players that want to leave the club, though. So maybe we can do something... Schlupp, we're having to promise a little bit more game time for him, which I'm fine with because Mitchell hasn't played the best. Tompkins wants to leave the club. Joel Ward wants to leave the club. And I believe there was one more, but I can't think of it. It was it was somebody, but I, I can't think of who it is. So we do have some options maybe that we can sell and bring in just a little bit of money. I don't expect to get a ton from those guys, but if we could bring in another player, it would really help out this side. I want to do a little bit of work this offseason season. To hopefully compete next year at a higher level than what we are. I'd like to finish upper mid table. I don't think I don't think that's going to happen this season, but it would be it would be nice, wouldn't it? We're the underdogs. Nobody's giving us a chance. It seems like that's the the team speech we've been making a lot lately. Man United come into pretty good form, winning three of their last five. One of those draws was against us, and we come into the match losing three out of our last five. Yeah, we've had a tough go though. So hopefully we get a good result here. I doubt it, but maybe against that Norwich team, hey, I'm looking for the team to get firing on all cylinders in that match. We need a good result. We need to do better in the league than what we've done. We start off early with a Man United highlight that Gaeta saves. And before we get any further, go ahead and change that. Get it to those extended highlights. That way we can watch a little bit more of the match. Gaeta plays it over to Anderson. 
He's got Alize on the right-hand side. Hits it to Klein. Oh, Callan Chambers is suspended for this match, I believe. I think. There's something. I don't know why I didn't start Callan Chambers. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. I think it said he's suspended, though. I think he's suspended for this match and the next match. Luca's uh, ban was a couple of matches. It was a, it was a horrible tackle, and uh, it, it was really justified. Sancho sends that over the top, and uh, for a goal kick. Another Man, Man United, not Man City, dadgum. Man United highlight. Do we get a stop? Do we get a counter? Do we get something going of our own? Goodness gracious, we need to get something. Gaeta, safe hands. Ronaldo tried sending that in the back of the net. Not today. We're back with maybe a highlight for us. Hey, come on now. Hey, he with the ball. He plays it over to Mitchell. Do we have something here? Do we have something? Eze with it. It's his second start of the season. Maybe, maybe he can do something in this match. I would like to see him play a little bit better than what he has in previous ones. Coming back from a big injury, though, I'm not expecting him to just set the world on fire. And uh, he's honestly got to beat out Elise right now. elise has been one of our better players this season and more consistent. So we have a little bit of a battle on that right wing, don't we? It turned into a Man United highlight real quick, didn't it? Rough stuff. Rough stuff here. It, it seems like it's, it's going to be all Man United in this match, and maybe we can squeak something out of it. That's kind of like what we've been doing in a lot of these matches. Well, we still haven't mustered up our first shot in this match, and the first half is closing down. So, yeah, I'm ready for Edward to come back. We need a little bit more in the attack, don't we? Gaeta punches that out. It's not cleared very well, though. Eze says, okay, I'll clear it for us. The highlight just continues right off the bat. It didn't really give us much of a break there, did it? I would have liked to see him just a little bit of time go down a little bit more. I mean, you know, I would like to carry this into halftime nil-nil. It doesn't look like we're going to. Oh, man, Mitchell. He just boots it forward. The halftime whistle is approaching. We've got one minute of added time. Do we get something here? It's our ball. Do we get our first shot of the match? Mm -mm, nope. Luca loses possession here. And now Man United looking to counter. It's... Another pin. Another pin. Looked like it was on the edge of the box to me, so I don't think it should have been. Okay, there we go. Hey, we dodged a bullet there. Can we continue, though? We don't need to shut off here. We need to continue fighting. Get this punched out. Get it cleared out. Ooh, a little bit on the dangerous side. A little bit scary, Larry. Boudier gets in there, puts a tackle in, stops the ball from coming into the box momentarily. It's pushed out, and that's the end of that half where we still haven't mustered up a shot. The attack not looking the best. Not really happy with the... I'm, I'm happy with the result right now. But not really the performance. Gallagher playing it over to Mitchell. It's too far out in front of Eze. He can't get to that. Almost 60 minutes have passed. And we still haven't mustered up a shot yet. Do we get it here? Mm -mm. Turn it over in the box. Atta boys. Go ahead, give yourself a round of applause for this match. This is a great performance. Luckily, our defense is held up, and Gaeta having a good match. He's had to have some of these matches over the last couple of weeks. We've had some tough ones, and it continues today, doesn't it? Gaeta doesn't get his fingers on that, and it's out for a goal kick. We come back with a Man United high, uh, corner here. Luca pushes it out, clears the lines momentarily. Rashford gets it back in the box. Gaeta rounds it up, holds on to it. Good stuff by him. He's having a good game for us. We've needed him because we haven't had anything for us, have we? They're doing a little bit of pressing. Can he find somebody to get this out to? He rolls it over to Anderson. I'm waiting for this highlight to honestly finish because I thought the highlight would have finished with the Rashford attempt, but uh, apparently not. Anderson plays it out to Klein. He's got Elise on that right-hand side. Cuts it back and plays it right into the feet of Rashford. And now Man United continue their assault on us. It's a hey, not, not a good one. Mm -mm. Like I said, this is this is tough. Very tough. Still hadn't figured out the team, really, to be honest with you. Gaeta, you know he's going to give up one eventually with all the attack that they've had against us. It's 1-0 one, one, now. 
I wish it was 1-1, one, one, but uh, unfortunately for us, we haven't had anything on our attack. Yeah, not, not very good, are we? The injuries are really piling up. We've, uh, we're starting to get healthy, though. The Zaha injury, Edward, a lot of our attacks out right now. It'd be nice to get Edward back. He's coming back pretty soon. We're going to go ahead and make some changes here. Eze's coming off, not having the best performance from him. Cantwell's cup tied, ain't he? Yeah, he is. I guess we'll bring Schlupp on. Let's change him to a winger. Do we have anything else we can really do? I don't see anything. I don't believe we're going to make another change right now. Schlupp has the ball here. He gets it to Gallagher, who plays it all the way back to Gahey. I would kind of like to see a little bit of urgency from our side. Luca plays it over to Anderson. They've got Klein over there on that right-hand side. He's wide open. He's got acres of space. They opt not to give it to him. Gallagher takes a real weak shot there. Man United has a corner here. Mitchell saves us there. Kicks that all the way out. Anderson has the ball. He plays it over right to Luke Shaw. Not good, not good. That goes out of play, good, good. We're making our final two changes right now. Ferguson's coming on and Binkovic. I, I don't really recall picking Ferguson to come on, but yes, I did. I don't recall that, but we're not. We, the reason why we made those changes is Klein was getting a little bit tired and then uh, Anderson got picked up with an injury uh, late in the match and he hasn't been really fully fit. We've had to play him though. And we give up a pin here late in the match. We're probably going to lose this one 2-0 unless Gaeta can stop this. He's had a good match. Feel bad for the guy. He's had to do it all by himself today, it seems like. He can't get a stop on it 2-0. We're getting knocked out of the Carabao Cup. I guess you can say it's time to focus on the league now. We do have the FA Cup coming up pretty soon. We drew against uh, Bristol City, I believe. Yeah, uh, not, not what I wanted to see out of this team today. We didn't look great against Man United the last time we played them, but it was better than this. We have four minutes of added time. It's running out here. One final highlight for our side. Do we get a goal out of it? Do we get just a little bit of a consolation prize here? I'm not sure. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Gallagher takes a shot. He's been our best attack today. He's had two of our, what, four shots? Edward, I need you to come back really bad. Matete held up pretty good, though, for most of the time he was out. Uh, just not today. Didn't do a real good job. We we didn't create any chances. Boudier puts out a 6.2. Elise puts out a 6.2. Matete with the 6.3. Yeah, uh, Connor Gallagher was our best overall performer with the 6.8. And you can just look at the ratings and see, well, we didn't want to win this match. I'm not happy with the performance out there. You guys can be demotivated. Demo demo you guys can be demotivated about that, but the result was absolutely terrible. Well, I may have hit the buttons one too many times. We're here at the match screen thing, kickoff. I don't know exactly what you call this. We're without Cantwell. He's picked up the sniffles. Edward's only recommended for 75 minutes. So the lineup really hasn't changed much since the last match. Schlupp comes in on the left-hand side, just giving him a little bit more game time. He came to me asking for some, and I was like, hey, you know, probably justified. Mitchell hasn't been the best. I think Mitchell's actually still – I think he picked up, a, picked up the sniffles as well. So – um yeah, we've got Gaeta in goal, a back four of Chambers, Anderson, Gahey, and Schlupp in the midfield. We got Luca Hughes and Gallagher in the attack. We got Elise Eze and Mateta going up against a really poor Norwich team. The fans expect a win. Let's get it done. Three of our last five losses. This is a this is a real big match for us. I mean, three points have not came often from us. And uh, this is this is the best opportunity that we've got recently to get three points. Hopefully we get a good result out of this one. Gahey holds up play. He gets it to Gallagher. Almost picked off there on the pass to Eze. He somehow gets it. I'm not sure how that wasn't deflected. Schlupp hits an early cross in. He was looking for Elise. That's headed out for the end of the highlight. But it doesn't end long. It has continued really quickly. Norwich in possession now. Anderson wins that header. It's not really pushed out, though, real well. Not very effective there, was it? Norwich now have the ball. 
See if we can get something on the attack here. See if we can get a Max Aaron's goal. That's uh, not what I wanted. Not in the first five minutes. Not going down one nil. An absolute screamer, though. Goodness. That's, yep, that's how it's going. Schlupp, he throws us in the Gallagher. He plays it out. He's got Ga Gahey with it. Do we maybe get a goal here? It would be nice. As I said before, it'd be nice to win a match on screen for a change. Gallagher takes a shot from distance, and he goes into the fans. Norwich, I was about to win that ball. I thought Chambers was going to win it there for a change. He's playing tight, doesn't win the ball back. Can we can we get possession here? Can we do a football? Can we get a tackle? Can we slide in there? Or we can do that. It's time to turn it around now. Gallagher has the ball. Plays it out to Gahey. Real poor performance from the squad today already. Not doing the best. Not the side that we beat. Not the side that we have when we beat Tottenham. That is for sure. The, the morale is at an all-time low here at Crystal Palace. Yikes. Anderson plays it out to Chambers. He's got it out wide. He hits a cross into Matete and doesn't challenge the goalkeeper really there. we got a free kick here to Elise to take it. Almost gets it in there. Out for a goal kick. Man, guys, come on. Let's do something. Get. Looks like it's starting out in the Norwich side of the field. Uh, do we do we try doing something? I mean, guys, it would, you know, it, would, it would help out if we, you know, defend. Gaeta. Usually plays pretty good. Not having the best of matches today, though. Drop some encouragement on the guys. It seems like they need it. Everybody's got their head hung down low. No real energy from our side once again today. Elise with it. He's got Luca to Hughes. Gallagher now in possession. He's got Eze on the left-hand side. Can we maybe? Matete. Brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Eze on the left-hand side again. We're playing down that left-hand side a good bit, it seems like. Matete now with the ball. Hits it back to Eze, who takes a shot. We're getting shots. I mean, we've got six shots. I feel like we're getting a little bit hard done with the three shots that they've had, getting two goals out of it. I mean, that would be nice if that would eventually happen to us. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen today, does it? Norwich with the ball. They've got possession, and uh, they're looking to move it forward. Lucky for us, nobody there to get that. Anderson picks up possession here for our side. And he's working it in. He's trying to get Elise. Elise has a chance. Once again, opts not to take the shot. Feel like, you know, that, that could have been a better shot than some of the ones that we've took today already. Finally, finally we get a damn goal. Ninth goal of the season for him. It's 1-2 now. We're starting to come back a little bit. Let's go. Goodness gracious, this has been, this has been a rough one, hasn't it? I mean, we're not really... Doing much. Matete done a good job getting that over to Elise. Made a good run. Finishes. That's we, we need more of that from him because we're not scoring a lot. We we definitely need Elise to step it up a little bit more for us. He's kind of slacked off recently. And that goes out for, to the fans. Two minutes of added time. Norwich, another highlight. Just seems like the football manager 2022 gods does not like me very much right now. It's not KV Mecklen, is it? That's for sure. Goodness gracious. I mean, we've got to do some work. We really do. I feel like we've got to add some more creative players because it's just not happening for us. Whether that come in the midfield, the attack, I'm not 100% sure. I've honestly not been impressed with Zaha. I don't know if it's me, if it's him, or if it's just bad luck. We go into halftime down 2-1. We've been the better side. We've had 10 shots, 5 on target, XG of 0.75. They've had 5 shots, 3 on target, and XG of 0.33. As you can see by the XG 
XG chart. We've been the much better side, but uh, I'm disappointed in you guys. We've got to do better than this. We're the better side here. And let's prove it here in the second half. Let's get two goals and get out with three points. Feels like this is just an early highlight, doesn't it? That's not going to really amount to much. Schlupp injures himself. We're down to 10 men right now. I'm bringing on Joel Ward on the left-hand side. Ball goes out. Maybe we can make that change. We can just hope Schlupp's injury is not too bad. We're back with a Norwich corner. Looks like Gallagher, Gallagher has picked up a slight injury as well. Oh, Lady Luck, please. Please come right now. I felt like he could have cut that inside and had a better opportunity. Okay, we've got a corner here. Maybe we have an opportunity. Can Elise pick out a target? He finds Anderson. Wasn't far off. Goes out for a goal kick, unfortunately. But the highlight doesn't break very long, does it? Hughes plays it to somebody. Elise takes a shot. I mean... Doesn't really have an opportunity there. It's really, his, uh, Pat, his, his shot was really congested. There wasn't a real a lane for him to pick out. And, uh, yeah, it, it, didn't, it didn't work out for us, did it? That goes over the top for a goal kick. Free kick. Elise took it. Sent it into Gehu, who sent it over the top. Another goal kick for Norwich. Man, we've got to get something out of this, don't we? We've changed up our formation to see if we can get something out of it. We've got two strikers up top. We're going with a diamond right now. Uh, we've brought Matete, not Matete. We've brought Edward on, and we've took out Elise, and then Eze moves into the middle as our number 10. He takes a shot there that's not really good. Norwich with another one. Do we make it to season two? I mean, is that that's a real question I feel like we've got to ask at this point because – I feel like, I mean, I know the, the, the board wants us to fight against relegation, but some of these results we've had have just been flat out terrible. Now, I feel like we have had bad luck with some injuries and uh, that kind of situation, but these are the kind of matches that we need to win, even if we do pick up some injuries like the Schulp injury. But we're just, we're not really doing it, are we? Gallagher, like I said, he's picked up a little bit of a knock. He's still out there playing right now. We give up a shot here. Is that going to be ruled offsides? I'm going to doubt it just because that's the way it's been going for us. That's what I thought. Can we just put our head down? Like, just go ahead and end the match, concede it. Luca takes a free kick there, tries getting it in. Can't really blame him there, though, because we, we've got to get something. Eze takes a shot here from corner. Tries to get it to Matete. Can't find him. Edward there to pick it up. Gallagher now in possession. He plays it back to Hughes. Edward to Eze. We've got Joel Ward on the ball now. He plays it all the way across the pitch to Chambers, who cannot hang on to it. Let's go. This is a good result for us. I say in sarcasm. <laughs> Edward with it. He's got Chambers now. I'm just glad that Edward's finally back. Maybe he can help out spearhead this attack a little bit more. You don't really get much from Hughes there. He just loses the ball and it's pushed all the way back out. Plays a ball into Eze. Matete fires one in the back of the net. I'm going to guess this one's going to be ruled off. It's going to be ruled. It's, it's going to be disallowed for offsides because, well, how it goes that's the way she goes for us yep there we go i mean he was offsides but uh, yeah i think we got fm'd in this one my dudes we get us our second it's as a second of the season that's three two now not i'm still very disappointed right now as you can tell we, we should have got three points out of this match we're gonna walk away with nothing and that's just, that's a bit hard done. They get three goals out of an XG of 0 0.51. Man, not the best of days for us. We've got our closing highlight here, and there she goes. The whistle's going to blow now. Or, or not. Joel Ward throws it in. He's got Matete. Plays it out all the way across the pitch to Chambers, who tries working it in the box to Matete, and he sends it out wide. And that's going to be... Oh, she wrote. It's 3-2.
Very disappointed in the squad today. This is a match that we should have won. I'm going to thrash the arms. I'm going to keep the water bottle down because of the injury that we did have. But Gaeta, bud, when, you, when the tack held up, you fell. That was, that was bad. We're down in 14th place right now. I mean, it, it's really close between these 14th to 12th. We could, we could get a good result, and, and we could – move up the table a little bit but we've, we've got to get the results this is this has been really bad we're, we're paying out some clauses now an anderson clause to ol for 1.2 gay chelsea gets 425 from the, us and uh elise was i guess our man of the match good job out there i'm just disappointed in the side really we're going to come back we mentioned that we want to start playing some of these other teams that we've uh We've got a lot of time. We still want to play Liverpool. We want to play Tottenham on screen, I feel like. And we want to play Chelsea on screen. So where does that put us coming back? So one, two. I mean, do we come? Ugh. I guess we could come back for Arsenal and Everton. I know it's this is going to be a quick turnaround for us, but I do want to play some of these other teams. So we come back for Arsenal and Everton. And then Chelsea in Southampton after that. Just play one match off screen after that for Aston Villa. And then we'll speed it up a little bit and play Man United and Norwich. Or no, Tottenham and Liverpool. That's what we said. So I think we've got the rest of the season planned out unless something happens in the FA Cup and we somehow make a run. But we've lost our last three matches. we got to get some wins. And I think we've got some winnable ones coming up. we got Brighton up next. I think we, we've got an opportunity. We've got Newcastle opportunity there unless they've just rebuilt the squad with the money. Uh, Brentford, we have a chance against. I feel like we got a chance against Wolves, against Burn. I feel like we've got a good chance to win a couple of these matches and get some points and climb up the table while we're off camera. Hopefully it happens, my dudes. Well, I'm really disappointed in that last match. The Man United match, I'm not just terribly disappointed in because, well, they're the much better side than us, but that Norwich one was unacceptable. If you enjoyed this episode, I mean, if you did, I don't know if you're really a fan of me, but leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.